Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Pretty excited for this video on a suppressed Tavor, one I've been pretty excited about for a while now. Before we get into it, I wanna give a big thanks to our sponsor, which is once again, Manscaped, the global brand for all men's hygiene and grooming needs. This is an awesome company I've had the privilege of working with in the past, but in case you guys haven't seen those other videos, I wanna once again highlight the Performance Package 4.0. Now included in that package is the latest and greatest trimmer they offer, the Lawnmower 4.0. Featuring skin safe technology, it makes it pretty darn difficult, if at all possible, to cause any bodily harm and nick any skin, which is nice for shaving those sensitive southern regions down Look, okay, I'm, I'm done beating around the bush, quite literally. It's for your balls, okay? This is for shaving your balls. Also included in that package is the Weed Whacker, which is a trimmer for your ears and nose. You also get Crop Preserver, Crop Reviver, Magic Mats, and that's the 4.0 package for you, but you'll also get boxers and a shed, which is a bag to put it all in. Of course, yes, this is a sponsored video, but I promise you guys, after using their products for some time, I am personally a big fan of it. Now, this whole package normally sold for $217.93. It's been reduced to $119.99 for some time, but with my coupon code Texas Plinking, you guys save 20%, but you still retain your free international shipping. That being said, the price comes out to $95.99 for the whole bundle. That ain't too bad. All of that being said, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. And again, that's coupon code Texas Plinking, all one, non-case sensitive. You guys could save 20%. Without any further ado, let's get on to today's video. Ow. Oh. Did you get hit? Well, anyway, that was 100% safe. I'm a trained professional, so don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and go in the shade and talk about this setup a little bit more. So it looks good, in my opinion, with the green and black. Um, I got it set up with the EOTech uh, holographic and magnifier. This is a G33 magnifier with the EXPS 3-0. Yeah, long name. Love this combo though. Very, very cool. It's got the night vision compatibility on the side. Quick attach, quick detach. Uh, little swivel off to the side. Three times magnification. Awesome for this cool bullpup configuration. It's got a 16 and a half inch barrel, cold hammer forged, uh, one and seven twist. So it'll carry the heavy bullets pretty darn well. Also, Got this one with my new uh, OSS uh, 556 suppressor. Uh, and so that's cool. This is my only second 556 specific suppressor. So dealing with a little bit better sound, this is the OSS flow through technology. So there's no tuning of the gas system I needed to do. So that's ready to go. The gun came from the factory with a 30 round window PMAG and it looks pretty darn cool once it's all up in here. But it is a bull pup with that 16 and a half inch barrel. So overall length with the suppressor is not bad. Weight balance is really, really nice. I think it looks pretty darn cool. I will say though, so far from my short time with this rifle, it is probably my favorite functional bullpup. Of course, I like the silly bullpups for how iconic they are in either video games or movies, but as far as functionality and just hitting the range with this one, especially the way it's set up with the suppressor, the vertical grip, the EOTEX and everything, functionally, it's really nice. Got some of the center of the field out there at about 130. Dang it. There we go. Let's step back to uh, 200 yards. I take that back. That's 300 now that I'm looking at it. All right, why not? We're going to wrap up the video right there. All right, well, that's enough slow pace stuff. Maybe we'll just do a couple mag dumps because it's healthy. Not nearly as bad as any other suppressor would have been, so it's much, much better, but it's not 100% flow through. I'm still getting a little bit come back to me, but I don't know when you're gonna do a mag dump of 20 rounds, but I'll breathe in a little bit of gases. It's not nearly as bad as even a couple rounds of like a regular AAC can I might have, so it is pretty cool. Nice. Not too bad. 
too bad, not too bad. Very nice. That thing sounds pretty cool. Oh yeah. Call of Duty vibes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the foamies out. They've been bothering me in all day, but suppressed with this OSS. We'll see, still a supersonic round, 16 and a half inch barrel, but this OSS suppressor, see if I can shoot a few rounds without any ringing in the ears. All right. That's not too bad considering we're also in this shed, which is making it way louder. If I step out here, it's not gonna be too bad. A little high pitch ring, but it's not bothering my ears too badly. Well, nice little proper first day on the range. I brought it out before with just the flip up iron sights that are integrated into the rail. Actually, those on their own right are pretty darn sweet. Uh, the front one, actually, got a little bit of a tritium insert, which is cool. A little attention to detail on the backup sight. But it's set up properly now with the EOTech. I'm looking forward to showing it more in future videos. Maybe when we do those IRL video game kind of stuff. But uh, just as a gun itself, uh, I'll probably feature it quite a bit more. Definitely on Instagram and stuff like that. But a very cool gun. Uh, distinctive for sure, but kind of modernized bullpup with this modernized suppressor with all this, you know, tricks up its sleeve. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I think it looks pretty darn cool. That does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.